Okay, so the goal here was to see <clears throat> if I could power this hard drive motor without a speed controller. Um, so as you can see, what I did was I soldered two of the terminals here, uh, just the one on the far, both, both terminals on the far sides, one on the left, one on the right. Um, and the one in the center is left untouched. And I did a really horrible job of soldering. Uh, I haven't soldered in a long time. Um, and I've got, I just hot glued it right here. So the wires wouldn't uh, move around too much. Um, and so this one wire is just kind of loose. Um, it's like hanging out a little bit and, uh, it'll go right into this hole here, um, on the center. But, uh, so let's, let's get a battery here. And, uh, I just made a little kind of battery connection there. Just bent a wire into a little, uh, circle to go around the battery so I can plug it in if I wanted to, uh, negative or positive. I said that backwards. This, this is negative. Uh, this one is positive. Okay. So we got one battery set up there. Um, and these two wires are just wired straight to the terminals those on the hard drive motor. Uh, so if we connect this, uh, one of these to the hard drive, right? Let's just connect these all up here. First, we connect this, this piece to the hard drive, uh, and this guy right there in the center. The hard drive spins. Now you may uh, wonder how this is working, because uh, usually if you just uh, take a battery and connect positive and negative, it'll stick in one spot, right? It's not going to go anywhere because uh, these these usually require uh, two or three phases of um, electricity to go into the different terminals. So what I did uh, was I got here's my connector. This guy is connected here. So I got all I got it to where all these sections where if the battery was still connected or the circuit was completed, where the this part of the motor is, um, then it would just stop and do that vibrating thing and, until it gets to the center. Um, but you, if you went tap, 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 tap really fast, then you would be able to get a spin. Uh, and to, so to simulate that, uh, or the pulsing phase motion of a speed controller, I put tape, um, and no, no specific measurement was done. I just kind of eyeballed it, um, in the four different, uh, sections where it needs to be in order to spin. Um, and if, if you're wondering how I, I picked where to put this tape, look. I just, uh, I just, I mean, it's no particular specific measurement. Um, I just took the battery and I eyeballed it because I wanted to connect the battery right here. So I connected this into this. Now this whole thing is connected. All this metal here is all touching. So you can use that to complete the circuit. Um, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass if you just if you're trying to use one wire like this. Um, there we go. And so, if you do that, you realize that it stops right there. So right there, you need to have tape, uh, otherwise it will not continue. So you can see if I do it over here, it'll stop right there. Get over here. It'll still go a little bit because uh, it's got a lot of the momentum from the other three spins. But if you go, you know, it's generally going to stop right there. So we just put tape there, cover it up.
goes quite a bit faster. Okay, so um, we're back, and I did a solder job that even most amateurs would be embarrassed by. So uh, I covered it up with some tape. Um, here's what it looks like. It's just the same connections there. I also hot glued it everywhere so they wouldn't go anywhere. Um, and I connected the uh, the one one wire that was going into the center here down here because it's all one metal connection. Uh, the whole thing conducts electricity. Uh, so you can use the bottom to complete the circuit so you don't have wires in the way up here. Um, and so I've got one battery here. I'm just going to connect it. You can see if I put it right here. It goes pretty fast. Get in the right spot. And I made a little checker down checker pattern down here because if you put it down here, it goes in reverse. And forwards. Reverse. Forwards. And uh, I read that if you want to increase the torque or the power of this uh, motor, you need to increase the current or the amperage. So I would wire two batteries in series and that's what the, or, uh, in parallel. That's what this connector is for. Or if you want to increase the speed, you put two batteries in uh, series and increase the voltage. So let's try that. Yeah, that's about twice as fast. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it. We got this hard drive motor spinning. Um, I'm going to try and do something useful with it. Um, maybe use it as a fan somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but it was a fun little project and I just used masking tape because it's easy to see. It doesn't stick super well, but it did the job. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, please subscribe and have a great day.